<laughs> I'm sorry, son. I don't understand. It's simple, really. I just... I have no recollection of asking Paige to marry me. I must be old-fashioned. I, I, I would think something like that would stick in the memory. Yeah, well, in the condition I was in last night, it's just... A good thing I remember my name. <laughs> well, at least I suppose I don't have to give you a fatherly lecture on the virtues of sobriety. Mm, no, I could give that lecture myself. Well, how do you know you did propose to her? Now yeah, that you put it that way, I guess I don't. Well, Paige says I did. I mean, I could have, Dad. We were having a great time. And... Oh, wait. All that aside, do you love her? I guess. You guess. Dennis, you must know better than that. Or else. Come on, Dad. I've been involved with a lot of girls. I, I, I'm just... Uh... Susceptible. Yeah. <laughs> Susceptible. All right. That's not so bad. What about this girl? I enjoy being with her. Uh, we have a lot of fun together. Uh, no, Dad. I mean, she's got a great sense of humor. I've experienced your sense of humor. And she's, uh, she's done a lot for me, I guess I owe Well, son, we owe rent and taxes, but as a rule, we don't love the landlord and the IRS. No, I, I mean it, Dad. Leaving Bay City and coming to Houston, it, well, it's been a wrench. I mean, I've enjoyed it, but it, it hasn't been easy. Well, I trust Paige has enjoyed helping me. Seems to have. And I think she cares for me, but I... And the butt locates the problem, doesn't it? I don't know. I guess I'm just not lucky in love. Back in Bay City, there was a girl, Cecile. <sighs> and I came to Houston, and I met Don. I remember seeing her at, at your birthday party. It was lovely. Yeah, she was. It seems so right. It's like the way I always dreamed it should be. You know what I mean? Oh, sure. We all have dreams. I mean, I would meet her and know right then. And we'd come closer together. Not right away, not that hour, that minute, or that day, but... I mean, I'd... there'd be misunderstandings. Tears. But it would be like two people sharing the same dream. Both people knowing the dream would come true. Well, once a very long time ago, I thought your mother and I... No, I mean we did. We did have a dream like that. It's too bad, isn't it? What? No. That we have to wake up. That we have to dream dreams and live life. Yeah. Our dream got lost. Except for you. You're the good part of us both. The very best. Dennis, is this dream important to you? Is that stupid? Why? Well, outgrow it. <laughs> yes, it is very stupid and sometimes even self-destructive, but I hope you never outgrow it. I think the mistakes that kill us are the ones we make when we throw away our dreams. When we say, well, that's a silly thing to hope for, or well, maybe, but no, not for me.
you saying I shouldn't marry Paige? No, no, no. I'm not going to tell you what I think you should do. I'm just... Well, I suppose I'm just speaking up for dreams. and don't give me any trouble. I won't on your pie, Grandma. Don't tell me somebody's been turning them down. Well, not really. But they've been letting their problems interfere with their appetite. That has to be Courtney. How's she coming along? Well, actually, it wasn't. It was Mac. But then Courtney didn't eat much either. Did somebody mention food? I'm starving. Oh, <laughs> sit down, Jimmy. That's what I like to hear. I'll get you some. Oh, thank you. Where have you been? Oh, I thought I'd take a little ride this morning. See the ranch. What happened to that old pear tree? Hmm. The one outside our window. Oh, the trunk got rotted out, so Kate had to have it cut down. I didn't want Steve climbing on it when the tree was about to fall down. That's it. Getting up this morning didn't feel right somehow. Something was missing. It took me a while to figure it out. I was looking out that window. Not seeing something that had always been there. Things change, Barry. No matter how you try to keep them the same. You've done a wonderful job, Jim. You've kept all the important things the same. I rode over to Chuck's truck stop. All those foreign cars parked there. I had to ask myself if I was back in the States. Didn't gas used to be 50 cents a gallon? Oh, Lordy. Was it five years ago that it was that cheap? Shows how quick we can get used to change. Don't think about it much anymore. No, not until something from the past brings it all back. <laughs> Is that what I am? Something from the past. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean you, Barrett. No, it's all right, sweetheart. I feel like a time traveler, as though I somehow stepped through a door into the future. Things are similar, but not quite the same. I'll go see who that is. You two finish your coffee. Some things are the same. We all still love you, no matter what happens. That's all I want, darling. Having you and Steve with me. Nothing can hurt me. Feels better all the time. Uh, sorry to uh, interrupt. It's all right. Come on in. Uh, Jenny, see if Brian wouldn't like to have some pie. I've got some telephone calls to make. Don't feel like an intruder, Ryan. Jenny was always embarrassed by public affection, right, Jenny? You hear about our uh, conversation? Uh. Yeah, that's right. Sorry about all that commotion over Courtney's wedding plans collapsing. Kind of interrupted our talk. No, no, that was my fault. Uh, I left with Kevin because I uh, thought he shouldn't be left alone. No, of course not. It's a bitter thing to lose the one you love. Some men never get over it, but... Dr. Cook seems like he can manage. Well, you didn't come to talk about Court's busted marriage. I had the feeling there was something you were trying to get at the other day. Something you were trying to get from me. Want to take up where we left off? 